objective. Subjective and subjective. It's, it's objective and subjective. Yeah. That's impossible. That's a contradiction. No, it's not. It's a contradiction. No, it's not. It can't be true that I have a Bible in my hand and true that I don't have a Bible in my hand. How do you know you have a Bible in your hand? Well, I know because I presuppose the God of reality. You can't know reality. How do you know? You presuppose how do you reality. You know you can believe what you see with your own eyes. You see, I'll ask you the same question. You, yeah. I because I believe God man. created the heavens and earth. You don't believe that. Huh? You don't believe that God created reality. You say that I don't believe that. Okay, so you do believe God created reality. I didn't say either. You didn't say either. Yeah, you, you see, you're, you're, but you're, from what I've gathered, from doing basic like basic demonstration of your beliefs, I know that you don't believe that God exists because you've attacked the, my religion and you've attacked the principles. Of no, it is. No, it is. Yes, you I have. The whole time we've been sports tweaking. I ask questions. They're just lying. I just ask okay, questions. Okay, so. Atheists then, can't account for making, morality. You're, you're rape the, would be okay in your world. It'll be okay to rape somebody in, in, under atheism because it's subjective. Morality is subjective under atheism. You can you can murder somebody under atheism. It'd be okay because monkeys all the time they rape their own children in the wild, and you're an evolved monkey, okay. right? So you can do the same thing. You go right? to America. What's yeah. that? Go to America. Prison population in America. Yeah. Ninety-nine points. 99% of the prison population yeah, over in America yeah, is Christian. And 0.06% What does that have to do with what I just said? 0 0.06% are atheists. Yes, and Paul Poit killed millions and he was an atheist. General Mao killed millions and he was an atheist. Yeah, but right. that, that doesn't what does that mean that, anything? That's what, well, it because of you, a few, a group of morality, people, it? I'm not giving you. I'm saying that Christ is a monopoly. This double standard. I'm saying Christ is a monopoly. Because I'm you, saying that the objective you, standard that I'm, I'm referring Hitler to wasn't, Hitler is the standard. Wasn't a Christian. He was a Christian. According to who? Huh? According to Wikipedia, which is gleaning from a random quote mine that he did in history. the 1940s. History. That's not history, my friend. Christian principles are based upon the Christian Bible, and that's it. They're not based upon man's that's opinion. That's not history. I can call myself a Hindu, that's but I don't, if I don't believe in Vishnu, I definitely don't believe in Brahman, then that's I am not, not a Hindu. <laughs> it just, it's, it's, that's not history. history. And you read it out yourself early on. The, in fact, read it out yourself. What? The, the actual Wikipedia quote. The Wikipedia quote which said that Hitler was a Christian also said that Hitler, Hitler, allow me to finish, it also says that Hitler stopped being a Christian. And this would have been yeah. during the time of the final order. He was never a Christian. He was a pagan. No, he didn't he believe that Jesus was God. A Christian, was Christian. God. A Christian so believed that Jesus was God. No, I'm Christian. telling you as a Christian, as somebody who's read the Bible, I know you haven't read the Bible, but the Bible gives no, us the presupposition of what a Christian is, not what you and I times, say. Man. An individual could say they're Christian. I can say, I can say I'm a KKK member and I don't like black people. <laughs> Does that mean it's true? What's a KKK got to do with you? Sean? I'm using an example. It's called hyperbole, your, sir. You your, don't understand logic. But no, you're no I'm talking about your religion. Your presupposition of scientism doesn't work. What you said to religion? me that all truths are subjective. Religion? You said to me what all is truths. My religion? Your religion is scientism. You said all truths are subjective. That's oh, scientism. Oh, you're you're uh, you're clairvoyant now. A clairvoyant? Are you? Yeah. Oh no, no, I don't believe in that nonsense. Maybe you do. Like, <laughs> maybe you believe in that you're nonsense. Going, going, On top of believing that your own mind gets you reality. You made the claim that truth is subjective, right? So according to this guy, rape is subjective, murder is subjective, paedophilia is subjective. So do you believe that paedophilia is subjective? Do you believe that there's a possibility it's okay to rape a child? In some countries. It's okay to do it. It is, yes. It's okay. I'm not talking about the law, I'm talking about what you think. I'm talking about what you think. I'm talking about the law, I'm talking about what you think. I'm saying what I think is subjective. So it's okay to rape a child in any instance. What you think is subjective. Thank you. So you think it's okay? What you think is subjective. No, it isn't subjective. What I think is subjective. I believe in objective, believe in subjective. So no, would it be you, okay to you, rape a child? What you, what you if you were in the, in the, like this, Indonesia, would you stop a child from being raped? Huh? If you were in, the, in Indonesia, would you stop a child from being raped? Of course it would. would and that's that? why I'm more moral you than your God. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? My God's way more moral than you. My God says that anybody harms a little your child, it would be better if it's hanged by a stone your God and dragged into the sea. Yes. to be raped yes. and tortured. Yes. Well, what, what do you mean by allow? What do you mean by allow? Every day What do you mean by allow? Every day of the week. Never okay, but you, that's subjective to you, isn't it? So it's Never okay for you. Well, What's wrong well, with that? I would. What's wrong with that? Why would you stop it? Why would you stop a rape like when you're an atheist who doesn't I believe would, there's any objective believe morality? So according but to you, God, that's what? subjective. So why not tell the police that it's subjective? Don't arrest any rapists. You see, you have pedophile logic. Why that's what your, your religion is a, a religion of pedophile. Why doesn't your God stop? Why don't you stop all that? 
I ask you a question. No, how about the question? Why don't you support that? the question. Why don't you support that? Why does your Why don't you support that? Why doesn't your old parents Why would you be okay with random Nepalese raping women in your religion? Why is it wrong? Why would it be wrong to rape somebody in your religion? If you're an atheist and you believe you're a vote pun scum, okay, please leave. Please leave. Please leave. Bye bye. Bye bye. Fear. Under atheism, how can you address the claims that there's objective morality versus your morality, which leads to raping children, murdering children, raping kids? How do, how do you know that's objectively not right? You're just making a claim. Monkeys, for example, in the wild, they will have sex with their own young. Monkeys in the wild will kill their own children. Gerbils, famously, would murder their own children if they're sick or out of a survival instinct. Why shouldn't, why shouldn't mothers do that today with their parents? And what's the difference? You see, evolution is morally instinct. It's, it's stupid. It's fundamentally broken. And the reason why is because it leads to, to presupposition that you can somehow have morality without God. No, you need God to have morality. You need God to make sense of logic, facts and reason.